Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys, and today we are without lab coats. Well, we've we'll, got these lovely things instead. It's true. We? We're also without our phones. Uh, so there's no microphones, but hopefully that one's doing all right. We're here at the Colorado School of Mines, and what are we going to be doing, Daniel? Well, with, when you're mining, you need to use explosives a lot of the time. Yeah. Right. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using quicker explosives. than a, a shovel. Exactly. Except for instead of using it for mining, we're going to be using it for Slow Mo Guys purposes. Yeah. Which involves a toilet. <laughs> a safe. Some mannequins. Some mannequins. Some mannequins are going to bite it. Plenty of explosives. We also have an absolute myriad of phantoms to get an absolute range of resolution and frame rates. So, uh, let's have a blast. Oh, because of the suck. puns and stuff. I've destroyed a few bogs in my time. You do like your spicy food. It's true. Yeah. But now we're literally going to destroy a bog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. This is pretty savage. So we're going to have Debt cord coming around and up into the cistern, which is going to be full of petrol, and then the detonation train will go down here into this five pound booster charge of high explosives, which is going to detonate and cause a shockwave and hopefully destroy the bog. So, you've taken care of all the explosive putting, and over here in this giant metal protective box, we've got two Phantom V2512. This one is set to 28,500 frames a second. This one is set to 207,000 frames a second. So it's very low resolution, but very, very fast. Also, up there in that yellow box, we've got a V2640, which will be at HD at about 12,000 frames a second. All right, let's watch that back. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it, it, there's, where's the toilet? It's just disappeared. <laughs> I didn't see a single piece. Not one piece, but I just saw a big white, bright flash. It maybe was it, so bright. Maybe it went out the back? Whoa! God! And all of this white cloud here is all petrol. Oh! So, did we not see it from the other angle because the cloud covered it and now we're seeing the fireball here? Yeah, I think, or maybe it just went up. Look at it all lighting up now. <sighs> It looks cool. Look at all this. All of that is lighted up now. Look at it expand. Oh man, that's so scary. I'll tell you what, the dynamic range on this camera is not bad. Like it's pretty much held all of those highlights, even though we're at such a high ISO. Do you know what's also really cool is often you don't see a big flaming explosion with rubble going everywhere. It's often yeah. just a flaming explosion. Whereas this, <laughs> you've got pieces of, Piece of toilet Toilety shrapnel. Well, that's where the toilet was. It's, I think there's no pieces of it left. It's literally dust. It has been entirely eviscerated. It's dug a, pretty much a crater and cleared the area of stones completely. So I'm this, not about this. Huh? is up there with those guys. Whoa. Oh. And I'm touching it. <laughs> Cheers for that. <laughs> Next experiment. This is a, the beefiest safe we could find for $150. <laughs> I think it's about 150 years old as well. I like we paid $150 for a safe that doesn't work. Yeah. We're just trying to get into the safe. Like if you imagine if you're a bank robber, uh, we're gonna try and just blow a hole through the door. Yeah, this safe seems to have lost most of its concrete. Yeah. But uh, we've got this barrel here to see. Hopefully we'll see it come into that. Yeah, so what we've got here is a shape charge. It looks funny because it's got a copper cone inside and packed in behind the copper cone is explosives. This is the deck cord, it's what we'll use to initiate it. So explosion will come down the deck cord, down here, hit the back of the shape charge and the explosive, explosion, the detonation will start at the back and travel forwards. And what that will do is force this copper cone into an inverse jet. So it will, the back part here, right at the back, will come out here before this, this part even gets hit and it will form a jet. And that's used to penetrate things like tanks armor or safes or anything like that and the correct you have to have something called standoff and that's six times the diameter of the cone which means that that's about 23 centimeters 24 centimeters away from what you're going to penetrate because that's the width is the width is about four centimeters so, so yeah. if you if you had it too close it, you wouldn't, had it, too it wouldn't close. be as effective it wouldn't be as efficient it would the, the copper jet wouldn't have reached peak like penetration capability Never seen a shape charge in slow mo. 
Neither have I actually, not like a, not properly. Because they're usually part of like an- Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> I was absolutely instant. What? All right, wind that back, hold on. It's, it's honestly like when a meteor enters the atmosphere and you just, you're watching a big ball of light coming through the air. It's the same sort of speed as well, I feel like. The copper's already gone into the water and then when we spin on, you'll see that miles later, the barrel comes up. Oh, I just love how directional this explosive is. I mean, that's what it does, that's it its job. Literally, nothing went anywhere else. No. So it went into the barrel, but it didn't come out the other side, which means there must be some copper at the bottom. <sighs> that was it. Straight through. But it's annihilated all the concrete around it. It's like, you see all this concrete here? Yeah. That was in the safe, and this lot, oh, it's completely hanging off, look. Perfect little hole. Oh, man. Look at that. I know we say this a lot, but like it's nothing. <laughs> it's just... Uh, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, solid sorry. metal. Did I just go through something? So all of the shape charges I've used before in the military have been solid copper lining. Yeah. Whereas this is an oil and gas shape charge and it's actually made of copper powder. So there won't be any solid bits of copper anywhere. And you can see here. That's what that is, yeah. That's, the, that's what that is. That's the smattering of copper powder. And before, when you, when you, ones that are used against uh, tanks and things, you can actually see the copper that's left over in the hole it makes. Because it's solid copper. So we've got Doris and Frank here, who are um, retired mannequins. Well, I've noticed that Doris's fingers come off. Yeah, that's why she was retired. She had an industrial accident. This is a shock tube. Yeah. And it has, inside it's called a dust explosion, which travels down the tube at about 2,000 meters a second. And that's enough to initiate a detonator, which is then enough to initiate deck cord, which is what it's used for. But what we're gonna do is trail it all the way from where we are, all the way down, swirling around, it's going to come to Doris here. We're going to wrap it all the way around Doris, like this, down to the bottom, where we're going to hit a detonator into some deck cord, which is then going to wrap all the way back around her, around her here, and then that will actually explode and hopefully sort of obliterate her. Because this is just sort of quite safe. It won't do anything to her. And then <laughs> the deck cord, this is quite a long one, is going to travel from her neck all the way down to here, where we're going to have a shaped charge, which is then going to go through, what was his name, Frank? Through Frank, yeah. Frank, through Frank, and then we've got some foam canisters on the other side that will hopefully explode when the, the, the copper jet manages to get through them. So this is a huge chain reaction of a bunch of different types of explosives. It's an explosive train is what it's called. So you start small with something like this, yeah. and you go into primary explosives with detonator, and then into deck cord, and then what? into a main charge. So this time I'm going to set the exposure on the phantoms much lower so we don't get as much white out from the deck cord explosions. Get more detail, yeah. Don't look up her skirt. I was looking into her finger. Oh. <laughs> well, you're looking, how am I going to look up her skirt from here? Dan, this is a special occasion. Yeah. Because we've got a return of a very rare guest <laughs> on the Slimer guys. It's other Dan. It's rival Dan. It's, it's rival Dan. It's, this is a little bit of an awkward situation having both of us here at the same time. More you may not recognize Dan because in this video he has a shirt on for once. <laughs> Explosives and, and bare chest just doesn't work out. <laughs> so then this one here will be the edge we start from, that'll go up the stairs. See this little symbol here? That's where we're gonna pop the deck cord in that little cradle. Yeah. So it's enough explosive force to initiate the shape charge, which is gonna blast its way through Frank. This is an absolute operation, then. It's just, it's just so nerve wracking to watch your deck cord on your head, basically. I mean, it's perfectly safe. You can chew it and it wouldn't do anything. I, was, I had a taste earlier. It's called secondary explosive. Better to be safe than sorry? I think so. That's the shock tube right there. <laughs> it's racing oh, along. It's so quick. It looks fake, doesn't it? It's gonna be like what? a little disco happening here. What? I like the little <laughs> twist. What the? <laughs> Whoa! It's like she's in the most dangerous nightclub ever. Do you think the, the deck cord, because it was wrapped so tight around the head, it all just went at once around the head? Yes, or do you think because it would be around? sympathetic detonation. So yeah. the, one of the layers would have got the next one. The shape charge beats the shock wave. Yeah, it's insane. 
I deliberately made this one much, much darker because we're shooting much, much slower. But we should actually see the shock tube travel almost at a leisurely pace at this frame rate. Oh, here we go. It's gone down the legs. We're should be coming any second. Oh, where are we? Oh, here we go. I think it's just... Oh, yes. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. oh. The step up in speed is so insane because you see the shock tube going at only 2,000 meters a second, but the deck cord is then going at 7,000. It's a huge step up. And that shape charge, that looks like a damn rocket going off. <laughs> it's going about 10,000 meters a second. And when you were describing the shape charge, I thought it would be more like a, a shotgun where it would just kind of blow all in one direction. But it's so narrow and so specific. Like you could, you could shoot someone with it. Yeah, for sure. You could shoot it right at someone. And it might miss. It's like a neat. It's like an explosive needle. Oh, there's a hand. Oh, that was yeah. that good hand. Oh, was that her safe hand? That's a shame. She's had a hell of a retirement party there. Look at what it's done to her dress. The deck was just like crisped it up, de-dressed. Look what the shape charge did to this guy. It completely sawn him in half. Oh, totally. I, I honestly, when I saw him in half here, I thought that this part had just come off. Yeah, same. But then but I was still like, connected. Actually, it's still connected. This is just loose. Oh, he's just taken him in, in half. Here's it's all the foam that caught fire. Oh yeah, no, it didn't actually get the other one. Look, oh. it didn't get that one. It just completely blew his front out. His, his front fell. <laughs> his front fell. To get uh, Doris's head to fall off <laughs> by wrapping it in deck cord. And it, I saw it from over there pop up about 30, 40 feet, and then it landed just here. <laughs> her head's intact. Oh, it blew one of her eye sockets off. Oh, no. Oh, it's gruesome. S a splintered sever. You should keep that. The head? Yeah. Use it as like a... I mean, surely, though, if I try and take it home, when they try and swab it, they'll be like... I think there's a small amount of explosives there. So you just say to TSA, you're just like, well, yeah, it blew up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> blew it off, obviously. Oh, think... Are you using this as an other, another opportunity to blow up some of our merch? Yeah. All right. Oh, it's a woman. Blow it out. Oh, dear. This is a nice T-shirt, right? Oh, get a rough run out of this. You're kidding. <laughs> well, happy with this. All right. Looks like we're good. What do you think? I think that's lovely. So we've made what can only be described as a monstrosity or <laughs> some sort of secret weapon. <laughs> Let me talk you through this. We've got an avalanche. These are used to fire into avalanches, into snow, sorry, to force an avalanche so it's not dangerous. Yeah. That leads down into this huge fat tube which reaches all the way down to the floor, which is filled full of ammonium nitrate fuel oil. It's granular. They look like what you fill a beanbag with, except they explode. That's, exa that's exactly what it looks like. And then around behind it, you've got two five pound boosters. And this is all connected with about six foot of deck cord. God. So it's about 50 or more pounds of explosives here. We've also put a third mannequin up the back. Yeah, we chucked her back there just to see if what the effects were compared to, obviously this guy's gonna get eviscerated and I think that one's probably not gonna see much of LC there. Whew. That one, I wonder how much will be left. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Do you remember how this place used to look before yeah. we did that experiment? Oh! Look at the back wall, it's just painted. God. <laughs> All, right. Are so All right, hold on, hold on guys, let me get... Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's just like it's been a hurricane here. It just blew everything away. Look at the camera! Oh my God! Oh my God, oh my God. we got a phantom down. Jesus, so it blew the window open? Look, it, it blew, blew the window, the window out. No way! We chucked a phantom onto the ground. In the whole of Slow guys, that's never do happened. Th do you think we have the footage from that? I hope so. <laughs> oh, oh, it's like whoa, a nuke. whoa, back there, it looked like a nuke. It was so bright initially, you couldn't see 
anything. Like, how would you expose for that initial explosion? Uh, you, just, you could do it, but you'd have to. You probably wouldn't see anything. You'd just see nothing to else to start with. Oh, oh, that looks like the end of the world. Oh, you can, you see, can it. see. Oh, there's like a sparks, sparks and flashes from the. Uh, or it's you just, see the rock, or maybe just fast-moving plastic, fast enough where it's actually igniting on impact. Oh. It honestly looks like that was fired from a fat man. It does. <laughs> That's what it looks like in Fallout. And then, once you see the shockwave go up, you see it moving across all this floor back here. See, it's gone up there, oh, and then yeah. it's lifting up all of the dirt, and now it's imploding back down. There's and the shockwave, then the shockwave hitting the camera. The camera yeah. That Did might be one of the best it? and most well-defined shockwaves I've ever seen. It looks like a pyroclastic flow from a, from a, a volcano. But... It's just water. Yeah. And then through the window, bash the camera out onto the floor. I can't think of any time that I would have seen any explosion that was that big, that close. I've certainly never seen anything like that. So this is the explosion proof camera shelter. Oh, I feel like they've never done an explosion this big here. I think they'll see why. I feel like they've definitely never it's done it. It's just knocked everything miles. We were, we were like this, we were like, hey, you can get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Look what it did to this housing. <laughs> No way! It's blown it in. It like crippled it front ways. Look at that. It was there and it shoved it. It's, oh. like, it's like ripped it like a tin can. What is interesting is that it chucked mud so far. Like look at our old barrel with a hole in. Look at where that was. Oh, it's got another hole in it. God, to think that even here, you would have been absolutely murdered by that. So the, the 2640, which was up on the hill, is it also got caked in mud. <laughs> I wonder all how, the way up there. I wonder how quickly the mud caked the, the view of the camera there. Oh, you can see, I, I put on such a wide lens on it. This is the left-hand mannequin that was here. It was previously about here. That was the one that wasn't the closest. Yeah. And he's turned to paste. I honestly don't know if we can show this. This is a bit graphic. <laughs> but look, so this lady was stood here, about, I don't know, five, six meters away. Yeah. She got picked up by the explosion about another four meters back. Her legs off, both her arms are off. That just shows the massive amount of difference between evisceration, a couple of bits left, and then like, you know, most of it left. I can't believe it blew in our safety. Box. It's because he put the charge behind the water. That's the, the, that's the thing, in, in EOD, you, it's called a disruptor. You place explosive charges behind water, and it basically just messes up everything that's in front of the water yeah. really quickly. So he's placed the charge behind the water and the water's just gone straight into the camera shelter and that's what's done that. Let's try and find a piece of your slow-mo guy shirt. This is it. Oh, is that it? That's it. It's like coated the... Oh, it's the rooster teeth. Oh, hold that up, that's great. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. It's the rooster teeth thing. Ur teeth. Ur Oh no, it's turty, 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 turty. Wow. Do you know? Do you know what my least favorite part of every Slow Mo Guys video is? What's that? Well, apart from me being hurt. Yeah. Is cleaning up afterwards. But all we've left today is a smoking crater. What? And there's like <laughs> bits of jeans and. <laughs> Plastic and stuff. <laughs> hey, shh. There's no plastic. It's just biodegradable jeans. That might be one of the most mental videos we've ever made. It's insane. That was, that, I tell you, that was a lot of explosives. Yeah. Well, big thanks to Vision Research for setting this up and letting us use their phantoms in an extremely dangerous environment. And thanks to the Colorado School of Mines for letting us come and blow stuff up here. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Feel free to follow us on social media and stuff. Subscribe to the Soma guys. And we've got a second channel. We'll see you next time. I feel like the next video should be really relaxing in comparison to that. Yeah, I think we need something like, I don't know, just chill. Yeah. This was, it was, this was a lot.